one thing. These are songs for General Hospital. Well, can... General Hospital songs. Yeah. General Hospital. Man, if it's come to that, we're better off apart. Lucky she loves you. Always has, always will. I think Elizabeth and I derailed as soon as I got addicted to drugs and had an affair with Maxie. I mean, Elizabeth wants to blame herself for the affair she had with Jason and lying about Jake's paternity, but I, I was the one who messed the whole thing up first. I thought we got past it, but Elizabeth is still haunted, I guess. Bottom line, she's just... She's not ready to marry me again. And I have to face the fact that she may never be. And... I love her enough to let her go. You know me, Robin. You know that I am a capable person and that I have survived a lot. Not only have I carried on, but I have made a life for myself and a family. And I ended up with a man who has healed my heart as it should be. Right, but things aren't always as they should be. You know, you got thrown a curveball with Nicholas. I know, I know. That's, that's just the thing. And I, and I need you to know that sex is a really weird thing for me. My first experience was so brutal that it shut something down inside of me. And obviously I've been with other guys and it's been fine and I've enjoyed it, but there's a part of me that has always been unavailable. And I rarely initiate sex. And honestly, I would be more than happy to never have it again. Until now, Nicholas awakened that part of me, and he brought it to life. And I know that this is so crazy that we're talking about this right here, because it's Nicholas, and he's my oldest and dearest friend, and he's, he's my fiancé's brother and Emily's husband, and I, I, I know that I shouldn't be doing this. It's okay, you just keep talking about it. I'm so consumed by him. I can't stop thinking about him, about his touch, the way he kisses me, and... And I pray, I pray every day that I will wake up and this will all just go away. Because I just want to be able to look at Nicholas and not want to feel him. Listen, you are a survivor. And I've always admired how strong you are. But there's something that we're not talking about here. You know, it's not like you can ignore Nicholas and he's going to go away for the rest of your life. He's a part of your life. He's a part of your family. Unless you think you should tell Lucky about no. it. No. No, it, 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 it will kill him. And it's going to ruin everything. So, you, Nicholas, you're supposed to go on like nothing ever happened between the two of you. Mm. It can be done. Because I'll have Lucky... You see, he's the key. Lucky knows how to love me back to health. He's done it before. He'll be able to do it again. But Claudia's murder is the best shot we've ever had at Sunny, so don't let impatience and frustration get in the way. Here's what I don't get about you, Dante. You've worked your way into being a trusted member of Sunny's organization, right? You've got access to his home and office. So why haven't you taken advantage of that? How would you suggest I do that? I don't know. You're the cop. I mean, search around a little bit, you know, find something. Maybe you can find a piece of evidence that goes along with what's already existing. And uh, maybe that will be enough to uh, get an arrest warrant. Wow, I mean, I, I hope I'm misunderstanding you here, Jax, because if you're suggesting that I plant evidence and frame Sonny, that's an obstruction charge. And <laughs> don't think I won't think twice about slapping on you if you keep getting it. All right, all right. Save the melodrama for your mother. You're not going to arrest me. You're not going to blow your cover unless you arrest Sonny. As far as obstruction charges go, all I'm asking is that you do your job, or I will call in that favor and have you replaced by someone who can actually arrest Sonny. Surprise. I have business. Um, I'd like to extend my dock and my boathouse, but it requires an easement on the north end of your property. I was hoping you wouldn't mind. I don't care. I don't, I don't even think I've seen a north edge of my property. Thank you. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Let me guess. You had a fight with Olivia. Don't. 
How would you even know that? I don't know, when we were kids, when she'd piss you off, you'd have the exact same expression on your face. You always hated being at odds with Olivia. I'm sorry, Spinelli. I know it makes you uncomfortable. No, make that nervous to be on the opposite side of any issue from Jason. But we have a crisis here. Or at least I do. I mean, how do you guys look at this? You don't even have a dining room table. And if something can't be done to correct this nightmare, well, I might not be able to spend very much time here. No, no, no. That would, that would be most undesirable. I mean, surely Stone Cold would not object to it. I object to this chances. waste of time. I need you to help me find Franco. And that takes priority over anything... you're here. I need some backup. I was just trying to tell these two back cave dwellers that they really need to redecorate, and I know you agree with me. Um, I kind of like it here. Okay, Maxie, you, you, need, you need to leave now. Please. Okay, but uh, I'm gonna take Spinelli with no, me. No, he has to work. Who died to make Maxie, shut up and help me with Franco or just get out. A song by Paul Beckman, Paul Lambo's song, created uh, December 3rd, 2009, using the guitar chords A minor, 7, and G. The song is going to be called Either Help Me or Get Out. Well, either help me, help me, help me now or get out. Do you hear me? Help me, help me, help me now or get out. I got something to do, it could be a matter of life and death. Do you understand now? I got something to do, it could be a matter of life and death. You gotta help me, Spinelli, you gotta help me. We gotta find this Franco again. You gotta help me, Spinelli, you gotta help me. We gotta find him, it could be a matter of life or death. Oh, Maxie, what you doing here? What you doing? Burst in my bubble. Maxie, what you doing here? Don't you know I could be in possible trouble? Maybe she just wants to get Spinelli away from there so he doesn't see what he could see. How she slept with Franco that evening. Is she trying to protect Spinelli from finding out the truth? Come on, Maxie, are you doing that? Is it true? Well, come on, Maxie, what you doing? Why do you want him to not be there? Is that what you're trying to do? 